welcome to the latest update program the topic of discussion is cdr versus biodiversity targets a recent study highlights the potential conflict between ambitions for land based carbon dioxide removal and biodiversity conservation both the global 30 into 30 goal protecting 30% of land by 2030 and the commitment to deploy large scale cdr face serious land availability constraints While CDR cannot solely achieve climate goals, it remains a crucial tool alongside emission reduction. Let us now look into its key points. Countries pledged 120 million square kilometer for CDR while also aiming to protect 30% of land by 2030. Current land use includes 50 million square kilometer for agriculture, 30 million for agroforestry, and 12.3 million under protection. Protecting 30% may not be enough for biodiversity, with estimates suggesting 44% is needed. Large scale CDR could significantly undermine the 30 into 30 goal and exacerbate food production challenges. CDR strategies should prioritize those that benefit biodiversity such as ecosystem restoration. Reducing emissions remains the primary solution for both climate and biodiversity goals. Let us now discuss its recommendation. Governments should prioritize CDR methods that minimize land use conflicts and maximize biodiversity benefits. while emphasizing rapid emissions reduction through fossil fuel phase out and other strategies